All right, guys, so Jared is putting this seal on the rear end. Uh, we just got the parts or the seals in. It's not really lining up, so hopefully this is this the correct seal. But we'll get back with you once we get it on. Alrighty, guys, so currently we're putting the gear and pinion back in. We just resealed it, as you can see. Brand new gasket. Yeah. So it should work. Somehow some water got in there and we had to take out some ice, so that's not good, but it'll burn out if there's any more in there. We don't we don't know really if there is a certain way we have to have this pinion back in. But we're just gonna try and we're gonna find out. We've got beefcake over here picking it up. Is it in there? Yeah, so there's teeth on the pinion, and I'm just going to rotate this until it goes in. Alright guys, we're going to get back with you once we get this on, because it's, it's not going to be easy. Alright guys, so I just had to kind of lift it up at an angle for some reason, and it kind of just slid right in. So now, we're going to... Put it all the way against there. And we're gonna check with a light and make sure we're flush against the back gears there. And make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. And then we can uh, put the housing on with the brakes and uh, possibly do the other side. So the it slipped and fell off of this at some point. When so, we weren't here. Yeah, when we weren't here. So now we are putting a block under it and we're going to readjust it because this side is down farther than this side and if we try to put our um, axle then it would be hitting the ground so we're going to put it on here but we have to make sure that this is level. Okay guys this could go pretty bad if we drop this so I'm really hoping we don't drop it. We're strong enough we won't drop it. Yeah. I'm gonna grab some lighting. So this right here, what, what you can see of it, that's what we're putting on. Um, we're just gonna line up the axle drive gear in inside there. Before we put it up, we're gonna clean where the gasket's gonna seal, and then we're gonna uh, line it up with these studs. Uh, we're missing one stud, but we're just gonna put it back in. We're not actually missing it. Uh, it just came out instead of the nut coming off. So we're gonna clean this and then we can put it all back together again. Okay, guys, so we've got this all cleaned, uh, ready for installation. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a go. Your end's gonna have to go higher. Push it higher. There you go. Where did it hit? It's in. Oh. Hold on, where does that need to go? Straight in. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Your end just has to come up. It's okay. Okay. There you go. All right, guys. Should we watch that? Here, step over. I'll hold it so you don't knock it off on it. See. All right, let's, we're gonna put a couple nuts in now. Just hand thread them. We gotta go run an errand really quick after this. So where are they at? Right here. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're back. We've already got all these hand tightened on here. So we're gonna tighten them kind of like in a star pattern since it's a brand new gasket.
Guys, so we've got the seals replaced on both sides. We've got every nut torqued to spec. And uh, Jared's got his rear end fluid. We're going to dump it in and make sure nothing obviously is leaking below. And then we can go ahead and put everything back on and start working on the wiring. All right, everyone. So now this is full of transmission or hydraulic fluid. They're, they same both thing. do the same, same thing. thing. But uh, we spilt some, so don't worry, that's not a seal leaking. And if it is, we'll have to split this in half. Knock on metal. Ouch! But we basically uh, fixed our issue with, with the rear end and transmission deal. So now we got to work on the wiring so we get some spark. What's up, guys? So it is the next day. Uh, Last night, me and Jared kind of lost ambition to finish putting the tires and rims on the Ford, and we kind of sorted through the electrical with our, I don't know where it's at, but our voltmeter, and everything has power where it's supposed to be, so we located the problem is probably in the distributor with the points and, or the condenser, so we can get that figured out, and last night... We put one of the wheels on and put it on backwards, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that. Jared is at, uh, oh, Jared is going to a swimming practice to apply to be a lifeguard at the local pool, so good luck to him. Uh, I'm going to finish his tractor while he's gone, and then we can hopefully find something else to do. All right. We're going to take this wheel off now. As you can see, the tread is backwards on this tire. It is supposed to be opposite and facing that way. So the design of this tread will not work as it's supposed to if it's not on there the right way. So that is why we're switching it out. All right, well, we've got the tire and rim over here. It's get, it's pretty hard to get on there, so I'm going to keep kind of rotating it. Okay, now we're all lined up. Okay, now each stud is poking out evenly. So now we can get to impacting. Now for the other side. You want a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit? Yeah, two of them. Two of them? Yeah, thank you. Nick Dog. Yeah. You know what tire it was on Becca's car that needed fixed? No, I don't. Okay. Well, we gotta get exhaust for Jared's tractor, too. Yeah, that's right. The thing's rusted out. Oh, uh, you guys see these, like, cat trackers? All right. We got this one on. We're going to do the same exact thing we did to the other side, and then we're mint. All right, this big old bad thing is done. Everyone, so we've torn apart the distributor here, and so far we've just put a new condenser and gapped the points, kind of adjusted that, and then we're going to look for a new cap so then we can have a nice and tight seal. All right, guys, so we've got the distributor all put back together. Um, I went ahead and threw some new spark plugs in here and uh, took a look at the valves and stuff through the holes and they look pretty good so I'm just sanding these points real quick to make sure there's no crud on them so they get good connection and then we're gonna see if this made a difference alright everyone we got everything put back together we had the battery put hooked up and uh, we tested 
the starter, or not the starter, that's the ignition. We started the ignition, uh, tested the starter. We're kind of getting a weak point in the starter, so that might be our issue. But uh, we don't have enough time to diagnose it this, this time in this video. So in the next video, we'll be working on this. And uh, the weather's getting better, so hopefully we can do some bank pulling or fishing. See that right there? That's pretty important. I just forgot to put that on top of the coil. But other than that, once I put that on, this thing should turn over. And then we'll pull out a spark plug and see if we actually have spark. Guess you could say it's a little muddy out right now. But uh, I'm going to show you guys Krampus' new tractor he just bought. Here it is, guys. It's 8N Ford. Not sure what year. But it's got the... Uh, Sherman transmission so that means it's got a high neutral and low gear instead of just having um, a constant gear that is ran off the gear pattern there but he said we could take it for a ride so let's go ahead and do that little thing is the newer models had the side distributor right there and then the older models had a distributor on the front called front distributor and it was located about right there that's what mine and Jared has uh, they're not easy to work on that's why they switch to the side distributor so it's a lot easier to work on of course so let's let's rip her this thing sounds nice it's got a it's got a dirt scooper on it right now or a gravel, gravel claw. It's got 3,900 hours on it. All right, guys, we're done taking our first spin. guys so every weekend I take my uh, 8N out for a spin since it's all fixed up now to where it was before connecting the battery cables and I uh, just run it so I don't have to replace this or the gas tank or the carb because those are the things that deteriorate the fastest. So we're gonna go take this baby out for a spin. He's running a little rough. Uh, that's kind of why I want to do a rebuild this summer on the engine uh, overhaul. It'd be a much more solid tractor if it had a brand new engine in it. Alright guys, so uh, me and Jared have been working on his tractor for like three hours and something's really messed up with the wiring and we're getting really tired of it. So we're going to call it a day. Uh, there's 
nothing else we can really do with it. So, Ben Baker voice. Please pray for the Aiden, everyone. She is not doing very good at all. She won't even turn over anymore before she would at least turn over. Yeah. We'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya. Guys, we gotta uh, light the burn barrel on fire.